Let's go to page 253, number 43. You have sine of x equal to 7 over 25, and the angle is between pi over 2 and pi. So first what you need to do is go ahead and figure out where the triangle is. So this is between pi over 2 and pi, so that's quadrant 2 and the sine is 7 over 25 and so this would be 24 and this is negative so now we can go and uh, go and find out the uh, sine of 2x so sine of 2x equal to 2 sine x cosine x so this will equal to so from here sine sine of x would be 7 over 25 cosine x is negative 24 over 25 and so this will equal to multiply out, we get negative 336 over 625. Then you do the cosine of 2x, this equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So cosine is negative 24 over 25 square, minus sine is 7 over 25 square. So work it out you're going to get 576 over 625 minus 49 over 625 so this is equal to 527 over 625 now to do the tangent square uh, ten, tangent 2x this is equal to uh, this is going to equal to 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent square x so this is equal to 2 times the okay, tangent is sine over cosine so it would be negative 7 over 24 over 1 minus and I'm going to write it out twice so to remind you that uh, that you have to multiply common denominator twice okay so again you have complex fraction so to simplify you need to go multiply by common denominator so you need to multiply by 24 and 24 multiply by 24 and 24 multiply by 24 and 24 so this will equal to so this cancel out and you multiply these things out you're going to get negative 336 and over here this one when you work it out you're going to get 576 and this negative 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 will give you negative and this cancel out so give you 49 and so this will give you negative 336 over uh, 527. Okay. So this is a long way. Now another method to get this, uh, if you trust that you did this correctly, then tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So to get this answer, you can just put this, this over this. So when you have this over this, the 625 will cancel out, so you end up with you end up with negative 336 over 527 and that's what you get over here, right? See? See over there? Okay? So you can sine over cosine equal to tangent. Okay? But to do that, you have to make sure you get this correct because if this is wrong and you do that, you're gonna, your answer is going to be wrong too, right? Okay. okay, let's go to 45. Yeah, cotangent of x equal to negative 12 over 35 and the angle is between negative pi over 2 and the zero and, and the zero. Okay, so first let's get the triangle ready. So this is between uh, negative pi over 2 and 0, so it's going to be right over here. Okay, so now you can apply this. So cotangent is, is cosine over sine, so cosine is 12, sine is 35. And so in this case, you can see that negative have to go with the 35, right? So again, when you're doing the cotangent and tangent, negative, you have to look at the picture to see if it's going with the top or the bottom number. Okay? And then you use your Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equal to c squared, so you're going to get 37. Okay? okay, so now, again, let's go and do the sine 2x equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So equal to... 2 times sine is negative 35 over 37 cosine is 12 over 37 and so this when you multiply out give you negative 840 over 1369 okay. and cosine 2x 
equal to cosine square x minus sine square x. So cosine is 12 over 37 square. And then sine is negative 35 over 37 square. And so this will give you 144 over 1369 minus 1225 over 1369. And so this will give you uh, negative 1081 over 1369. Now let's do the tangent 2x. Tangent 2x equal to 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent square of x. So it's going to be equal to 2 times tangent is sine over cosine. So it'll be negative 35 over 12 sine over cosine over 1 minus negative 35 over 12. Again, I write it out twice to remind you that you have to multiply common denominator. Uh, two of them, right? So your common denominator is 12 and 12. So just write down 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, right? So this will equal to, this will cancel out, okay? So you're going to end up with, so you multiply, so you're going to get negative, uh, negative 840, okay? And that's what you get over here, right? See that? Okay? And then on the bottom, you're going to get 144 from here. And minus, minus, minus give you minus. And this all cancel out. And so you're going to get a uh, get calculator. You multiply it out. So 35 times 35 equals 1225. Okay. And so this will equal to negative 840 over. So you subtract, you're going to get negative. Uh, Let's double check on this one here. So one two one forty four minus one two two five equal one forty four minus one two two five. So you get negative one zero eight one, right? And again, that's what you have over here, right? And then you get rid of the negative, you're gonna get eight forty over one zero eight one. Okay, again, that's what you write. See this over this, and the negative cancel out. See how this all match up? Okay. So you can use that as a way to check your answer. So you know that you did it correctly because they match, right? Okay. Okay, let's go to 47. Okay, you have cosine x equal to 1 over 4, and this is between 0 and 90 degrees. Okay, so this is going to be in quadrant 1, and this is 1 over 4. So use your Pythagorean theorem, this will give you square root of 15. Okay. And so you're looking for sine of x over 2 and cosine of x over 2. So sine of x over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine x over 2. Okay, now to figure out the plus or minus, you got to figure out where this angle is. So what you want to do, you want to divide this by 2. So divide this whole thing by 2, you get 0 is less than x over 2, less than 45 degrees. So from here, this is going to be in quadrant one, so sine is going to be positive, okay? So you can, so this, so this your, so this angle right over here, that's your, that's your x over two angle, right? Divide by, divide by two to get x over two, and all you want to do is to see if it's positive or negative. So from here, you can see that it's positive, okay? So sine of x over two equal to positive one minus now cosine of x. So you make sure you label your angle so that way you know which one to look. Right? Cosine of x is from here, so it would be 1 over 4. And then you have complex fraction, so multiply everything by 4, a common denominator. Multiply everything by 4. So you're going to get 4 minus, this cancel out 1 over 8. So this is equal to square root of uh, 3 over 8. Okay. 
and if you're going to simplify then this will equal to square root of 3 over 2 square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 square root of 2 so you get square root of 6 over 4 okay. and I'll do the cosine cosine of x over 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine of x over 2 so you can look at this picture over here cosine of this picture is positive right so here's your sine here's your cosine so again, that's how you know it's going to be plus or minus. So this is positive, so it would be 1 plus. Now cosine of x is from here, so 1 over 4 over 2. So you can multiply it by 4. So this will equal to square root of this cancel, so it would be 4 plus 1 over 8. So this is equal to square root of 5 over, over square root of 8 which is 2 square root of 2 and if you multiply by square root of 2 square root of 2 this gives you square root of 10 over 4 okay. Okay, let's go to number 49 okay number 49 you have tangent x equal to negative square root of 8 and then this is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees okay so from here your this would be between 90 and 80 so it's going to be right over here okay and notice there's only one number what you can do is put over one so you're going to get sine over cosine so sine is square root of eight over sine over cosine right and from here you can see that negative had to go over here okay and then after that, you can use Pythagorean theorem, so this is going to be a 3, and so this is x, and again, you're looking for, um, you're looking for sine of x over 2 and cosine of x over 2. So sine of x over 2, you go to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine x over 2, okay? So again, to figure out plus or minus, you have, to, you have to see where this angle is, so divide by 2, divide by 2, so you're going to get, so dividing by 2, so you're going to get 45 degrees is less than x over 2, less than 90 degrees. So from here, you can see that this angle is right over here, right, that's your, that's your x over 2. So cosine, I mean, the, the sine is, is positive, okay, so that's how you know it's going to be positive. So it's going to be positive and 1 minus, so cosine, so again, this is your, this is your x over 2 angle. So you have to know which, which triangle to look. So you can to figure out plus or minus, you have to look at this triangle, okay? And so sine, again, sine is positive, so that's how you know it's positive. Okay, now cosine x is this over that, so it'd be negative 1 over 3. So now to simplify, you multiply everything by 3. So this equals the square root of this cancel, so you're going to get 3 plus 1 over 6. So this is going to be equal to square root of uh, 4 over 6. So simplify. So actually, you probably better to just, because 4 is a perfect square already, so it's probably better to just go and do this. Okay, that's a bit easier to simplify instead of trying to reduce. So don't reduce if it's already perfect square, and this will equal to 2 square root of 6 over 6. Now for cosine of x over 2, equal to plus or minus so it's very similar so again to figure out if plus or minus you have to look where this angle is okay and so this one over here cosine again is positive right so it's positive so it's equal to positive so 1 plus uh, cosine is negative 1 over 3 over 2 so multiply by common denominator so this is equal to so to cancel out, so you're going to get square root of 3 minus 1 over 6. So this is equal to square root of 2 over 6. So equal to square root of 1 over 3. And so multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. So you're going to get square root of 3 over 3. Okay. Okay, let's go to 51.
Yeah, cosecant x equal to negative 5 over tw uh, square root of 24. And the angle is between negative 90 and the 0 degree. Okay. So I'm going to give it a bit of space over there. So between negative 90 and 0, it's going to be right over here. Okay. And so it's going to be like this. Okay. And then you can use this. So cosecant, so if you're not comfortable with cosecant, then use sine. So sine of x equal to negative square root of 24 over 5. Okay, so you can flip it over. So that way you, you get negative square root of 24 over 5. And so this would be equal to 1. And this is x. Okay, so now let's go and do sine of x over 2 equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine x over 2. You can always write down your formula. Okay, so now you have to figure out if it's plus or minus. You have to figure out where this angle is. So divide this by 2, you're going to get negative 45 degrees. Is less than x over 2, less than 0, right? I can divide everything by 2. So this angle is going to be right over here, right? It's going to be somewhere in quadrant 4. So the sign is going to be negative, okay? So that's how you know it's going to be a negative. I can look it over here, right? That's, that's your x over 2, okay? So it's going to be negative. So let's continue. So 1 minus cosine. Cosine is this over here, so it would be 1 over 5. So this is equal to negative square root of, okay, now multiply by 5 to simplify. So you're going to get 5 minus 1 over 10. So this is going to be equal to 4 over square root of 10. Again, this is a perfect square, so don't reduce. So it'd be negative 2 over square root of 10, right? Square root of 4 is 2. And if you simplify, this will give you negative 2 square root of 10 over 10. And you reduce the 2 and the 10, so you're going to get negative square root of 10 over 5. Right? 2 and 10 cancel, so you get 9. Okay. Now let's go and do the cosine. Cosine of x over 2 equal to plus or minus square root of 1 plus cosine x over 2. So now look at this picture over here. Cosine of this picture is positive. See that? So it's going to be positive. So it's positive. And then you just going to do the same thing. Okay, and work it through. So multiply by 5. So you're going to get square root of 5 plus 1 over 10. So you're going to get square root of uh, 6 over 10. I'm going to do this, okay? And this one I can simplify by 2, reduce by 2 I get 3, reduce by 2 I get 5. Then after that you multiply by square root of 5, square root of 5. So this gives you square root of 15 over 5. Okay. So make sure you know how to um, get this over here to figure out if it's plus or minus. Right? 